Residents of some communities in the Olodo area of Ibadan have sent a Save Our Soul message to the Oyo State Government. This is because the only available bridge connecting Araromi with other neighboring communities has been cut off, resulting to negative impacts on economic activities in the area. The report. The only link bridge connecting Araromi and six other communities has been cut off by flooding more than 10 years ago. These residents claim that the locations in the Agbeda local government area of Oyo State have suffered more than a decade of neglect and untold hardship. Governments continued neglect, they say, that paralyzed economic activities and they want all concerned authorities to come to the rescue. It's a big challenge to us. It got to a stage that when, when there is heavy rain, some of us will, need, will stay outside for two or three days. For, this, for the river to subsidize before we get to our various houses. We have been calling on the state government, the local government is aware, and likewise, Ibadan, urban flood management. They are already, all these bodies are already aware of what we are facing here. We've suffered a lot, and we've done a lot. Going to the secretariat, contacting the government, and so on. Even when engineer Shima came here in 2021 with his people. And uh, up to now, nothing has been done physically. Maybe paperwork has gone. In recent past, residents had restored to self help and had constructed this pedestrian bridge. But even this effort has not gone far enough. Many residents have therefore fled the locality for safer climbs. We want the government to help us to do the bridge in time. They have been coming since. We have not seen the impact from them. Full to this place and it affects my house. So all the blocks we used to do the gutter, they have uh, breaking it. They just are repairing it now. Arami is also plushed by a poor road network, lack of electricity supply, and absence of portable drinking water. A lot of lands has gone and properties because rain will, rain will not fall, but you just see reef water, unexpected places. Where it is come to this area, we don't know. That's not where we can do it. All of us, we are packing here. There's no way to go up, up to go down to our residence. So we normally park here. So in security, in security aspect, we don't have any security. We don't have anybody to put there to secure our vehicle. For life to return to normal, these Nigerians feel that the government must create a conducive environment where these residents can achieve their full potential. For now, residents of Ararame continue to wait on government but their patience is fast running out. End.